totally sick, New York Times promotes pedophilia with lipstick, eyeliner for boys, millions shocked. Is there no perversion that the left will not embrace and promote? Left-wingers championed themselves as the political party for women's rights, ironically by promoting independent lifestyles that have made women more depressed than ever before in history, and for children's rights, ironically by accumulating mind-boggling amounts of government debt for our children to inherit, if their mothers don't abort them. Now, finally, they're having another breakthrough. The New York Times recently published an article titled How Teenage Boys, and Younger, Wearing Makeup Are Affecting Beauty Norms. Looks more like the child-loving editors of Knit have found this the perfect opportunity to launch the next phase of the left's path to normalizing pedophilia. Oh, look. Men and boys can wear makeup, too. Doesn't that sound like fuzzy, feel-good gender equality? No human being with a conscience could possibly be against that. Well, actually, most of us are. Just as conservatives predicted, the transgender bathroom rules implemented by the left under the guise of sexual equality and progressivism have targeted children for predation, recently a transgender, woman was caught and jailed for molesting a 10-year-old girl in the woman's bathroom, reported by Reason.com. Groups on the farthest fringes of the left are openly supportive of pedophilia organizations like the North American Man, Boy Love Association, NEMBLA. NEMBLA has even been blocked by other organizations with the LGBT movement. Once the left pushed the giant, deadly boulder of sexual equality down the hill, it was only inevitable that it was going to crash down to this ugly bottom, if you take sexual freedom as perverts on the left understand it too far. It's only a matter of time before they accept pedophilia, too. First, convince society that gender is just a social construct. Second, convince society that children as young as four can choose their gender. Third, sexualize prepubescent boys. Fourth, empathize with and normalize pedresti. The fifth step, and we all know what that is, is soon coming. How the public could allow the NIT to keep this degeneracy on its website is mind-boggling. An investigation should be immediately called into the executives running the pedophilia propaganda machine, the images they have published could arguably be a near case of child pornography. Fire them all and lock them up for preying on children.